Hello and welcome to Mike FJR's Corner. Today we're going to be working on the rear brakes. Um, the rims are off the bike and they're out to the dealer to get the tires replaced. Um, so it's a good opportunity to work on the calibers. So um, let's get started. I'm now going to work on the rear brake caliber. Um, I need to change the brakes and I need to clean it up. So I have a container uh, placed underneath and I got a rag over the swing arm and I'm going to use some brake cleaner to clean off the brake. With your favorite brake cleaner, clean off the caliber. And I'm going to slide the axle through the temporary holder caliber. We're now going to remove the two caliber bolts. We're going to use a 12 millimeter socket with an extension and place it over the bolt and push down. And remove the second bolt. Slide the caliber down. Remove the brake pads. Take the brake cleaner and clean the piston. Take a rag and clean off the piston. Now remove the right side plastic panel. Before we compress the piston and the brake caliber, we need to check the brake fluid level. Uh, the brake fluid level on mine is about halfway down, so we have space for the fluid to come back into the reservoir. Um, if it's closer to the top line, then we need to remove some of the brake fluid. Now compress the piston and the brake caliber. Compress it while making sure that the fluid level doesn't go above the full line in the reservoir. Now that the caliber has been removed from its mount, we're going to remove this bolt here with a 6 millimeter hex wrench. Remove the bolt, slide the bracket down, remove the axle. And remove the bracket. Clean the caliber bolts in your favorite degreaser. Now we'll clean the caliber bracket. I'm going to remove the boot off the mount by prying sideways and pulling it out of its mount. Clean the insides of the bracket. Clean the boots. I'm now going to remove the brake clips by taking a small screwdriver and sliding it underneath the clip, slowly prying it out. It should pop out fairly easily. Then clean off the bracket. And once you have the bracket fully clean, you can set it aside. Clean the boots and inspect for any damage. If you find any damage in the boot, then replace them. Spray off the brake clips with brake cleaner. Use a wire brush if necessary. Once the brake clips are clean, we're going to reinstall them into the bracket. We're going to install the boots into both holes. I'm using the Permatex Ceramic Brake Parts Lubricant. Now let's apply a pea-sized amount of lubricant to both holes. Apply grease to one of the caliper pins. Push the pin into the bracket using a twisting motion to spread the lubricant. Fill the boot with lubricant, then push the boot into the bracket. Apply a lubricant to the brake clips. Wipe away any excess lubricant. The brake pads I want to install are the EBC Double H brake pads. We're now going to mount the caliber bracket back onto the bike. Place it behind the swing arm and slide the axle in. Slide the caliper bracket up into the brake arm and slide the bolt in. Apply grease to the back of the piston. Apply grease to the sliding parts of the brake pad. Apply grease to the back side of the brake pad where the brake pad touches the caliper. Slide the brake pad into the holder in the caliper. Apply lubricant to the sliding points on the second brake pad. Slide the brake pad into the holder in the caliber. 
Lubricate the caliber pins. Slide the caliber over the brakes and up in front of the boots and slide the caliber pin in through the boot. Take a 12 millimeter socket and turn the pins in. Torque both caliber pins to 230 inch pounds. Wipe away any excess remaining grease. The rear caliber is now complete. Now let's work on the front brake calibers. I suspended the caliber with the bungee cord so that the caliber does not pull on the brake line. I also placed a bucket under the caliber to catch any brake dust and or brake cleaner. With a rag behind the caliber, use the brake cleaner to clean the brake dust off the caliber. There are two clips holding the pin into the caliber. With a hook or small screwdriver, carefully slide each clip out by pulling up on the clip. Slide the pin out of the caliber. Remove the support clip and brake pads. With a rag soaked with brake cleaner, clean the inside of the caliber, cleaning the seals and pistons. Now with your favorite soap, spread the entire caliber and wipe off with a rag. I'm going to be using the EBC double H brake pads. With the old pads in place, use a screwdriver to squeeze the pistons into the caliber. Lightly coat the edge of each piston with brake grease. Lightly coat the tips of the brake pad where they rub with a support clip and pin. Also coat the two edges where they touch the caliber. Lightly coat the pin with brake grease. Slide the brake pad into the caliber. While holding the pads apart, place the support clip on top. Make sure the arrow is pointed up. This is the direction of the tire rotation. Slide the pin through the caliber, support clip, and brake pads. Insert both clips into the pin. Once the clips are in, push the pins down until the top of the pin is flush with the edge of the caliber. Repeat this process to replace the brakes on the right caliber. Thank you for watching this video on replacing the rear brakes. If you like this video, click on a thumbs up or the like icon. Um, or even click on the subscribe button. It helps this channel a lot and I thank you and goodbye.